All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Search Console to do an SEO audit. So once you're in Google Search Console and you've got the website in there and it's been collecting data, you'll be able to use this data to see what's actually happening with the website in terms of SEO, how it's displaying on Google, what's displaying on Google, what keywords and so on. So I'm going to walk you through the process of using the different tools available in here to actually analyze a website and what's going on and then therefore be able to improve the SEO. So we'll go through each of these sections here one by one and I'll I'll show you all the relevant things you'll need to look at so we'll start with the performance tab and this tab is where you're going to be spending most of your time now this tab shows you what keywords the website is getting impressions and clicks for what pages it gets impressions and clicks for what countries they come from what devices they use it and so on so you can use this data to see obviously what keywords this website is ranking for and also what pages now in here you can set several good filters which allow you to figure out things like keyword cannibalization and so on so for example if we go here to the filters tab and hit new and we go page and now we select a page from the website and we type in an example I'm just going to put the one from this website and hit apply. It's going to tell us that specific page, what queries or keywords that page actually shows up for and gets impressions for. And you can see, obviously, it'll just show the pages, and then from what countries and so on. Now, another thing you can do is let's say, for instance, you want to take this keyword, you remove that filter, put the keyword as the query filter, and it will show you what pages rank for that keyword. Now for SEO, this is good because what you'll see here is in the case of this one, there's two pages here that were ranking for the same keywords. Now, obviously this one's taken precedence and is the main ranking one, but this one did come up for a bit and got a few impressions. Obviously Google realized this is the main one for that keyword. However, if you notice that several pages are ranking for a keyword, that means you've got keyword cannibalization going on. So this can be the first indicator of you realizing that, you know, I've seen some examples where five or six pages are ranking for the same keyword. That's obviously a problem and you'd want to go in there and fix that. So that's one way you can find that. Now also you can see here, if you're ranking in the right area. So for instance, if you're ranking the actual country you want to rank in, and if that's where most of your traffic is coming from, what devices and so on. It'll also show you this, which a lot of the time this is useless. It doesn't really show you anything. So I wouldn't worry about that. But usually the first four tabs are where you would have most of the data. Queries, pages, the countries and devices. So that's that for the performance tab. You'll probably spend most of your time in here looking through these. You can go through and get this whole list and see what keyword variations you show up for. This also allows you to potentially target some of these keywords that you do get impressions for but don't get clicks so for instance pre-trip car inspection this isn't necessarily what they do but if they offer this as a service you can make a page specifically about this or maybe a blog post covering this and it would help rank for that keyword so that's how you can use this list as well to discover more keywords you should rank for now the next thing you want to look at is the indexing section so this section is going to give you data on how google is actually indexing your website so if you hit pages what's going to happen here is it's going to show you what page have been indexed and what pages have not been indexed and then the ones that have not been indexed it's going to tell you why so you can use this to figure out if there's some problem that you need to resolve so for instance if you got page with redirect if we click this you'll see here the seven pages with redirects now these pages I don't really care about they shouldn't be ranking anyway however if you find a page in here that is a page that should be ranking and Google's picked up that's got a redirect then you need to do something about it and fix it so this can reveal some errors on the, your website for example or for instance instance if you have excluded by no index tag and you got some pages that are excluded that you want ranking they'll come up here and then you can go and fix that so that they can actually be indexed now when you get these crawled currently indexed there's usually a range of reasons why that may have happened sometimes you need to just wait for google to do it sometimes it's these ones you don't want to rank or be indexed anyway so that's not a problem but just keep an eye on this and see if there's any urls you actually want to be indexed in here and try and get them indexed so this can tell you some good data here now the next thing what you want to do is go to sitemaps and make sure you've actually submitted a sitemap for your website and make sure that Google can actually read it. So you should see status success. If you see failed or something else, then you want to figure out why and try and resubmit it and see if Google can read the sitemap then, because that's going to make it easier for Google to be able to see all of the pages on your website, actually crawl the website and then index it. So you want to make sure it can read the sitemap. Now, the last thing is removals here. You don't really have to worry about it, but if you really want to remove some URL from the Google 
index, you can submit a request here to get that removed. Typically, you won't need to do that. But if for some reason you do, this is where you can do that. And then you can submit for that request and hopefully they remove it. Now, the next thing is under experience. So under here, under experience, you basically just want to see what is Google saying about your website. So typically it'll give you core web vital data. I'll go into that in a minute and it'll cover HTTPS as well. This page experience is just an overview. If we go into core web vitals, you'll see here that it'll say mobile and desktop. Now, for some reason on this particular website, it's not showing it, even though it gets quite a lot of traffic. So I'll just pull up another one. So if we take a look at my website, you can see here, it's showing me core web vitals for mobile and desktop, and it's saying that I've got issues. So what you would do is if you open this report, you can see poor URLs and it'll tell you why. So it's a loading issue here and you could go in there and then try and fix these issues and get these rate rated as good or better. Now, the other thing you want to check as well is the HTTPS. So you you should have this good across all of your pages. But this will just let you know if for some reason you have an SSL certificate problem, it will pop up here. So you want to fix that because that is a ranking factor now. So you want to make sure that all of your URLs have a valid SSL certificate and show up as HTTPS. If not, go and speak to your hosting provider or your domain provider to get you a SSL certificate that's updated and actually working properly. Now from here, there's a couple of other tabs. Typically speaking, you won't be using shopping unless you're doing e-commerce and you've actually linked it to this. It'll just show if your products are appearing in the Google Shopping tab, this isn't a shopping website, so it's not going to show up. But you can link this and it'll show that here as well. Under enhancements, typically you'll find that you won't really use this. It should be fine unless you've got some serious issues. But typically speaking, you shouldn't be in here. However, you can click in here and just see if there are any issues and then correct whatever it shows up. Now, the last thing you want to take a look at is security and manual actions. If by some chance your actual website has been penalized by Google, it should show up here telling you they have manually penalized your website for whatever reason. And this this case it says no issues detected usually that won't be a problem but if you've done some black hat seo stuff you might get penalized and end up here and same with security issues if by some chance your website's been hacked and google has seen that then it will show that here under security issues as well and then you could go in and correct that so that's largely it like i said you'll probably spend most of your time in the performance tab going through the different keywords and urls that they rank for however all these different things do give you good data on potential things you can fix and improve for your website so that you can improve the SEO and get it to rank higher. So I hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you'd like me to coach you on how to do SEO or even Google ads for only $49 a month, go to learndominatemarketing.com. And if you'd like us to do the SEO or Google ads for you, go to dominatemarketing.io, book a call with us there. Catch you on the next one.